Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're gonna be going into Act 8.3.3. And let me warn you guys first. You're gonna see some mistakes. Mistakes were made, okay? Um, you may even laugh, you may cry, but we get through. All right, so you'll see what path I decide to take uh, in a moment. You see the team that I'm going in with, mostly mutants. So that should give you a hint if you looked at the uh, nodes. Now, look at the nodes here, all right? Now, basically, if you see just the um, reward on the path and it's just gold, technically, that's the path that Kabam considers the easy path, okay? I don't know if I've mentioned that before, all right? Uh, but take a look at the um, node stunning performance and all that good stuff. Now, the funny thing is that the stunning performance, that's kind of what Bishop does in his kit normally. And so does um, uh, Storm Pyramid X. She does that as well, all right? And you have tenacity, so you really want that node, okay? And then you have the rest of them, you know, seven stars get a boost in damage and stuff and six stars get a boost and all that. So if you have the seven star, you want to use the seven star. If you have the six star, you want to use the six star and so on. Uh, but you can use the five stars, but obviously preferred um, seven and six stars are preferred. All right. So now I'm like, well, Kingpin, because of that node, I should be good. Now, um, Apocalypse also allows for the fact that, uh, I think in his kit, you can't shrug off his debuffs. So look at this. He has tenacity and all of that. It doesn't matter. But we still have to deal with that unstoppable. So I'm like, okay, first fight, we got this, right? And uh, I like fighting uh, Kingpin when he plays right. And when I don't have to deal with all these crazy other nodes that I have to watch for and stuff like that. Um, I used to fight him in AQ a long time ago when he was the boss. And I would use Spider-Man Stark Enhanced against him. All right. So as you can see here, we're doing good. All right. Everything is going well. We just have to watch out for the uh, unstoppable. All right. We're able to parry him. No problem. All right. Bait out, bait out, bait out. He's just going to wait for his unstoppable. Cool, cool. All right. And there we go. Long wait for the stun. All right. Come on. There we go. Finally, he ran that uh, special off. Uh, but he's unstoppable. Okay. And when he's unstoppable, as you can see, he's immune. Uh-oh. Back was against the wall. I'm like, oh, no. We got to get out of there. Back it up, back it up. Hit him with that special two. All right. And we pushed him to a special two, which I didn't want to do. And okay. Fine. But we're taking damage. We're taking some good damage right now. Now, my apocalypse, by the way, is only rank three. And I keep saying I'm going to take him to rank four. But I keep prioritizing other champions over him. I don't know why. Um, but look at this. He's just whittling us down. And this fight has gone on longer than I really wanted it to. Now, keep in mind, I'm running the uh, Ouchie Masteries. So I'm doing a lot more damage than you normally would. And the fight's still going this way. Still taking a while. Look at that. I couldn't even punish his heavy. All right. Oh, there we go. We fought our way out of it. But, ah. Uh, He's unstoppable again. And we're in the corner again. Oh, let's beat him out. And he's back to his special two. Uh, he's beating us into the corner. And we wait that out, but he's unstoppable. And there he goes with his unstoppable inducing special two. Ah, look at this. We're down to 5% now. Look at this. And we're done. He snuck me with that. And, and this is the first fight. I said, you know what? 
this ain't start off too good. I should restart. But then I said, forget it. I ain't start restarting. Not gonna restart. Um, I will I will use my energy and we just gonna keep it rolling. And I'm gonna show you guys my mistakes as we move on. Okay. So now I'm going in with cable. Okay. Here we go. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. What's going on? He's purifying them. Okay. That's not working too well. I'm like, all right, well, guess that didn't work out the way that I was thinking it would. Um, he's shrugging off my DGENs. And I'm like, ah. All right, another mistake. Look at that, unstoppable. And so I'm just like, all right, we just gonna play. We're not gonna do the heavy, you know, um, uh, spam like we would normally do with Cable and when he has uh, Apocalypse on the team. All right, but we are not doing well so far. This is the first fight, the first fight. And I've ar I'm already down one champion. Ah, ooh, I hate that. And now I got to wait all this out. All this out, man. So annoying. There are better options, by the way. You can bring in a counter uh, maybe to the unstoppable. Uh, or just wait it out like you see me doing. You don't absolutely have to bring somebody in like that. Um, I do recommend bringing in mutants, though. But yeah, first fight. And I'm just sitting here. That's why you see me sitting on this screen for a little bit. Because I'm like, this is the first fight. And I'm like, no, we're going to keep going. I thought about it. I really did. But I said, no, we're going to keep going. I looked and, and I remember that most of the other fights are pretty straightforward. You know, Kingpin, because he purifies a lot of stuff, was annoying, but we shouldn't have a problem here. Now, even though Ghost Rider is finally um, incinerate immune, and if you're new, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. When Ghost Rider was first put into the contest, they didn't have incinerate immunities. They didn't have that technology. So Ghost Rider, who should have been incinerate immune, was never incinerate immune. Then they brought in, uh, much later, champions that were incinerate immune. And everybody's like, what about Ghost Rider? Why he not incinerate immune? And then they had um, Cosmic Ghost Rider came in. He was incinerate immune. And we were like, what about Ghost Rider? OG Ghost Rider, what's going on? And they finally made him incinerate immune. So he is incinerate immune, finally. And, uh, but Bishop, still good, as you can see. Look at that. Nasty. Nasty. It didn't matter that he was incinerate immune. I love my Bishop. My Bishop, by the way, is my first six-star rank two. I now have two of them, but he was my first. And you can see why. Love him. All right? Now, I don't remember, I think... Look at that. She evaded right off. I was like, come on. I hate her evade. It's not supposed to be that high of a chance. But if you fought her, you know. It don't work the way they said. Yeah, she only got, what is it, 3%? Nah. Nah. Whatever their math is, their math ain't mathing. All right? She evades way more than that. But anyway, uh, Domino was my second rank two um i think she's ranked two in uh um in this video but this was my second and oh my goodness she terrorizes people and she's good on offense as well i've used her in battlegrounds on offense and defense and she works well look at that oh oh 305k crit come on now Nasty. Don't sleep on the domino. All right. <clears throat> anyway. Now. 
We've got uh, Red Hulk. Not a problem. And you see Korg over there. We got somebody for Korg. But Red Hulk, who if you've done Labyrinth of Legends, you're familiar with him. In fact, we can get to him straight. And we sometimes use him as a punching bag to kind of test champions. But we love testing champions on Winter Soldier instead. It's a quicker fight. And it, it gives you a nice, good metric, you know. Uh, but I have done videos uh, where I've used uh, Red Hulk. I, I hesitated right there, so he had a time to block. But look at that. Mm. Come on. Oh, got to be careful about that one. All right, here we go. Get that uh, relic in there. Striker. Okay. Now we got to wait the unstoppable out. Again, if you have an unstoppable counter, you can do that. Um, here we go. Boom, boom. Didn't get the big critties, but that's okay. We got in that little one, and then we had to back off because of the unstoppable. Just annoying, but as you can see, you don't absolutely need an unstoppable counter, but it may help. You know, it might speed the fight up. I'm trying to remember if uh, there are any mutants. What mutants will deal with that unstoppable? I'm not thinking of any right now. Leave a comment uh, below if you can think of uh, some mutants that are um, that can counter the unstoppable. I know we've got uh, She-Hulk. I don't know if she counters that unstoppable, but I think she does. Uh, I don't know if um, Claire can uh, do anything with that unstoppable. But yeah, as far as mutants go, I, I don't know of any. All right, so Bishop. Bishop is a great chord counter, uh, as you've seen. Uh, even without this node, Bishop will parry, stun, Korg, if he's awakened, will try to purify it, and it'll get replaced with a passive stun, and he'll take damage. That's what happens when you try to purify Bishop's stun, okay? And so you can see here, Korg ain't nobody, all right? He is not working at all. Now, I don't remember why, but that... um. The unstoppable here, Bishop might be the man because look at the unstoppable. Where's the unstoppable? So Bishop might be the counter that you want to bring. If you have a Bishop, you definitely want to bring him. I'll tell you that. Um, when I went in with Apocalypse, I was actually going to... Um, just use Apocalypse. Mm, that's special too. I was going to just use Apocalypse to make Bishop a um, horseman. That was all I was going to do. Or or Domino. Uh, I, that's all. Because Bishop doesn't really need to be a horseman. Domino, I think, benefits from it uh, better than Bishop does. Um, but it's all good. Now, Bishop against uh, Torch. Even though Torch <clears throat> is... Um, is uh, incinerate immune. As you've seen, you don't need uh, to worry about incinerate immunities. And notice how quick I got to my special three. You know, Bishop, that's how he do. All right. He finished the uh, last fight with bars of power. And so he starts the next fight with those bars of power. That's my boy, Bishop. All right. So now we've got the unstoppable back. And like I said, I'm not sure... Um, it might be the node. Um, I may have not read it too carefully. But it may have something to do with the node. But look, we don't have an unstoppable there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I really am not sure. All right. So here we go. We want to bait that out. And I can evade that, but why risk it? Sometimes it don't work right. All right. Now, this time I went for the um, 
special three. Um, I think I wanted to bait out this special one first. Got hit, but whatever. And there we go. Nice special uh, three. Save some of my um, my health because I run the ouchy mastery. So, you know, the less uh, specials I can do, the better. Um, but yeah, it might be, if I remember right, because I'm starting to think, if I do the parry, if they're under the effect of the uh, stun, maybe that's when the unstoppable um, is blocked. You know, when they have that uh, passive stun on. But yeah, you guys uh, let me know in the comments. But that might be it. You know, when you have the passive stun on them, that works. That's fine. He hitting me, but that's good. Look at this. Just hitting me. I don't know why. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to mention anything about the inputs. Yeah. Nothing about the inputs. Nothing about me just getting hit like that. Yeah, nothing. But anyway, that was the last uh, fight on this path. One casualty, Big Daddy Apaco. Now, for this last boss fight, I thought I had something good. All right? So I had already looked at the nodes and everything, and I had a plan. And I said, all right, I know who I'm going to bring in. Somebody that I like, but I don't get a chance to use a whole lot. Silk. Silk, as Ghost Dog would say, silky smooth. All right. Now, who do you think I'm going in against? Yeah. Now, look at the polka dot power. Okay. So you need to land a damaging debuff. And the defender takes 60% less damage when they don't have any of those on. All right. So I'm like, okay, silk should work. Let's let this be a lesson to you guys. Silk is awesome. That's one of the reasons that I brought um, Hit Monkey was because of the node, the damaging debuffs and all of that. So I'm like, okay, but I wanted to bring in Silk. So, first thing I found out, all those debuffs you see right there, not damaging. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm like, okay. Now, I want y'all to watch this. Look at this. I'm like, are you kidding me? I've got no power. Look at this. The slow is also not a damaging debuff. I'm like, okay, this is not going to go good, is it? But surprise, Silk, with this major handicap, can still do this fight. Surprise, surprise. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch all of this, okay? So I'm going to speed up this fight but just know she didn't get any power for the entire fight all right so uh let me speed it up really quick here all right you're welcome all right look at this no power for this entire fight all it was was baiting out specials and one thing that is nice about silk is that at least when, before it goes on cooldown, she can auto-evade specials 100% of the time. But it'll go on cooldown. So it went pretty well. Look at her health. It went down, it went up, it went down, it went up. It was wonderful. But very, very slow and boring. All right? But that was the final fight. Better counters, for sure, than Silk but she can do it. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it guys. Thank you for watching. 
Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.